guys, welcome to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isime, and it is so good to have you, as always, as always, always, always. As you know, Trending is brought to you by Airtel, like I said. And on this show, we discuss everyone and everything that is trending, which is exactly what I'm going to do right after this break. Do not go anywhere. I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending. Today on my hot seat, I have the amazing actor and uh, once Mr. Nigeria. I'm talking about none other but Mr. Kenneth Okoli. Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you I'm today? Good. So good, good to see you. Good when I said once Mr. Nigeria, I don't, I couldn't remember the exact year. So I was like Mr. Nigeria once, you know. How did you speak? Because I heard you go, hmm. Mm. I heard you do. <laughs> Uh, How much you think about that? You don't like people, you know. Well, I mean, like, that you know, that was a <clears throat> that was my breakthrough into the entertainment industry in Nigeria, 2010, yeah. actually. 2010. So, Mr. Yeah, Nigeria, so. 2010. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, how's that been so far since 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 you won? Well, I mean, I can't even remember, but like that was that. So. Oh, great, great. But tell me, what are you wearing, and what is the inspiration behind it? You look good, by the way. Very simple. But tell me, these shoes are quite big. But tell me about what you're wearing. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> well, I have big feet, so okay. I wear size 45. 45, okay. I'm 47, forgive me. Wow. I wish I was 45, that was even smaller. Which carpenter do you use? <laughs> oh my lord. For your shoes, because I'd like to make something for someone. I, I think it's the same one I made your own. So. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you wish! Yeah. You wish! Uh, my I shoe full market. Yeah, the full market, of course, but that's on the other side. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but the right side, the right side. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> you pick two, you pray, maybe I give you one free. Ah. But tell me what you're wearing and the inspiration behind it. Okay, I'm wearing um, a H&M. Okay. <clears throat> I know they have that issues right now and everything, but like, yes, I'm wearing a H&M mm. and H&M jeans and um, <coughs> Chelsea boots. Just, I, I like dress, um, dressing simple. I'm a very simple person. I don't want to do like that whole... Do you love H&M? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, no, really, really. What do you think about the, the scandal? What's going on right now? Well, the scandal, oh, my God, like, I don't know who brought up that campaign for them but that's actually senseless you know it's very it's a very sensitive topic mm -hmm. you know do you see whole... it as racist yes you do okay you know because the thing is you can have a young a small boy there mm -hmm. and i'll put that kind of statement there the, uh. big, the coolest monkey in the jungle right that's that's very offensive okay you know and you know we blacks or like the black slaves are called monkeys mm -hmm. you understand and that notion too you know having that on the black person's Mm. Body shirt, so you feel like it wasn't well thought of. No, it wasn't, it wasn't actually. Okay, well all right. Well, our topic of the day is actors and you know, stereotype roles, meaning actors and whatever roles they, they stick to mm. sometimes. Now, tell me, there's this perception that once you look good as a guy mm. in the industry, you kind of have to stick to that playboy rules because that's the majority of what you get. Is this true? <laughs> yeah, it's very true. It used to be okay. very true, actually. Okay. There was a period. There was a period where um, it was all about light-skinned people. Mm. You know, so if you're light-skinned, fine boy, or a fine girl, like you are lead. Right. You know, and it, it was a problem because like the the dark-skinned ones, like us, chocolates. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> we. I was. I wouldn't say I was having a hard time, but I mean, I did my own thing, cut my own niche in the industry, so like it was actually all cool. We were cool. Mm. But then it was like the trending thing then for like producers and everything, and I can't blame them because it's the way the movie markets in Nigeria is positioned. Okay, you know they want that whole um, Nadia Buhari, Ramzi Noah, light skinned people to mm. actually like you know be in front of the screen and everything because like it looks more. They call them eye candy, I think. Exactly. Okay. You know, it makes the romance scenes more romantic to them. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I just, okay. just say okay. and stuff, you know, and also like stereotyping in terms of like the roles they play too. Mm -hmm. It's more like say. Patience is awkward. Mm. You know, what she knows, she's known for like the wicked um, stepmother or the wicked mother, you know, yeah, yeah. you understand? So, and uh, she's done many roles like that, mm. you know, many movies. So, that's actually like, you know, stuck to her. So, mm. if you see her like in a very serious movie, you can take her serious. Okay, okay. Okay. I mean, uh, actors are becoming very, quite comfortable with these playboy roles because in as much mm. as, apart from the fact that they're stereotyping you, it kind of is you selling your market. Like, yeah, yeah look mean, at me in my six packs and look at me in clothes and look at how nice I look when I kiss a girl. It's easy, you know, mm. it's, like, it's much easier for a good actor, it depends on how good the person is to like actually portray that kind of um, character. Like but is it easy role. to come out of that, to, to take a challenging role? Do you think it's easy to, you know, forget about this fine boy for once and like take up a challenging role. It probably needs you to roll in a gutter, you know, be a mm -hmm. slave or be something. Do you think it's easy? Does it well, take extra? It depends. 
Mm. It depends. Myself, I'll say I like challenger. I love challenger roles. You know, For you, I've is it played... ever about the money or is it about the role? No, it's about the story. Okay. You know, then okay. it's the money. Then. Mm. <laughs> you know so okay. I've played a mechanic, I've played a police officer, I've played a doctor, I've played a lover boy, mm. I've played a prisoner, I've played a kidnapper, you know, so I like challenging roles that actually bring out characters in me that make that pushes me, mm. you know, beyond the limits. Mm. Whereas like, you know, Kenneth Coley, you can't actually pinpoint me like in one he's like he's very versatile, mm. he's not he's a good mm. this, he's a good that, he's a good this. You understand? So that's me. That's true. But as an actor, what determines your ability to pull off a role? Is it the actor himself or is it the director? Or is it the elements around him? And you know, the costumes? Because I feel like everything has a role in mm. making a, an actor uh, look like a role. Yeah. You know, so what do you think? What is it for you? What is the major factor okay. for you? First, the major factor is the director. Okay. Then the, the, then the costume comes to play too because okay. I'm someone that I like costuming myself. On productions because most times they'll end up like okay they want you to like look like a rich man's son right and they end up giving you like normal polo mm. looking like all shabby and everything i meant to like portray a rich boy looking like who make, make me look like less lesser than the role okay okay you okay. understand so you call like you somebody's name put, no okay who do you think I call? Are road shades are no 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 <laughs> oh, man come on man okay. you say that as you say you know so it, 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 it kind of like, you know, it gives you more momentum okay. when you're in that costume. Mm -hmm. Then the director too also like helps, you know, get you there, get you there okay. as well. I mean, you, you the character, of course, you have to like you know, do your research on the character mm -hmm. or on the kind of people who, who are in that position. Mm -hmm. So you can get more knowledge about the personality you're mm -hmm. meant to like, the character meant to like be portraying okay. on screen. So. Okay. Now, Nigerian actors, you know, have over time been accused of being lazy and always, you know, playing safe and probably not going out there and putting themselves out there. How true is this? In terms of playing a character, putting because you know it takes a lot for you to forget about yourself as Kenneth Okoli mm -hmm. and become a character. character. You know, it takes everything. It takes both the money, it takes mm -hmm. the costume, like we said, the director, yeah. are being around the place. You know, so mm -hmm. what would you say about people who find most actors? You know, this new generation actors. Is it what, when you find them lazy and plain safe, what you what you have to say about that? The thing is, most people are not like this new generation actors. Is that okay. they want to be famous? Okay. They don't want to do. They don't want to run the mile. They don't want to commit to it. Okay. Just want to appear on screen and you know do your stuff or produce your own movie and just like in front of it okay. just because you want to, like people to get to know you. It's okay. not like that. Like it it it's a system. You know that okay. we've been through. Mm -hmm. You know, then and the veterans too have been through. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you have to make the role believable. You have mm -hmm. to come hungry. Mm -hmm. You have to want it. You have to need it. You know, you have to live the character, not just just <clears throat> just be a face and just you know come there and just say one or two three words mm -hmm. and that's it. I think you're made. No, it's also not just about the money. Of course, the money too. Mm -hmm. Most actors need the money to survive. Mm -hmm. Some come from nothing. You know, and this is like their daily bread. So right. they actually hunger for it. Mm. You know, it's like a like a like a, a, a big cat in the, in the, in the forest in mm. the jungle mm. who sees a prey and he has to like run almost a hundred meters or to more than it. that to catch it. Mm. You understand? They'll just they'll just serve it mm. to him like that. No, it's not possible. So you have okay. to like actually work towards it. Okay. Most people don't work work towards it. Okay. Well, like every almost every movie industry in the world, of course, the Bollywood, the Hollywood, the Gollywood, the Nollywood, you know. <laughs> yeah, Gollywood, and they're doing well. A lot of Ghanaians act. I'll tell you one my thing. my Ghanaian brothers. Ghanaians, Charlie, you guys, I feel you guys, wow. But you know, me and you guys, like, we'll be fine. That's that my second home. So okay. So, I mean, okay. I live in Ghana, so okay. I, know, I know what's up. Well, Ghanaians have good stories. Mm. They have really, really good, interesting stories. Okay. You understand? And um, the productions too are very interesting because, okay. like, it's it's to me, it's always new, you know, no stereotyping or whatever, mm. you know, mm. like most of our stories back in the day. Okay, now we're doing much better and stuff, you know. But Ghanaians, I'll give them a hand. They give it okay. Keep them really good. Okay, great. Well, like I was saying, you know, the different rules and different uh, movie industries mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. Each of these movie industries somehow have been rocked by sex 
scandals you know either coming from you know the angle of oh <coughs> sex before roles or even while there people are trying to get people and there are more and more more and more people who see the desperation of some people and ride on it and say okay i want fame i'm gonna be this okay come and then they take advantage you know mm -hmm. um what do you have any kind of experience if you do please share with us and if you don't please tell us is this true <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's a very it's a very funny and serious question okay. you know because i haven't i mean i'm a guy of course mm. and such offer hasn't been made to me mm. you know but i've heard stories of people who, who that's been mm. done to mm. you know offered to both guys and girls mm. you understand and it really amazes me how like these things work because it's more like you're taking advantage of someone's destiny okay. to want to get them there because like already you've already killed the dream from the beginning you know Mm -hmm. But most guys understand this, or most women understand this. Mm -hmm. You know, you think, okay, like you sleeping for this role, or mm -hmm. you doing what it takes, like le not legit to get it. Mm -hmm. You think that's actually gonna, like, you know, kill that, uh, like, what should I say, quench the hunger you? or boost you mm -hmm. or something like that? No, it actually limits you, because mm -hmm. the persons who the persons who are meant to value you end up not valuing it that much, because. If you have a, 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 a producer or a director who actually needs, say, Nancy Simia, for example, mm -hmm. on their production and they want to put her there or she wants to be on that production mm -hmm. and she has to go through that stuff to, the man will be like, oh, man. he wouldn't actually refer if it's a second job. Why did you use Nancy? Because I was no, actually just, thinking that you were going example. to say, you know, someone like Nancy who will come on set and be a professional. Why did you say No, she's that? actually very professional. I mean, Nancy, listen, over the years, you know, Don't I've, be I've actually seen number. you grow in this industry from school, now hit TV, then movie sets and everything. Everything has just been working well for you. And Thank I'm really you. proud of you. Thank Let you very that. much. You're welcome. Thank Back you. Back to my story. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so, as you were saying. But as I was saying, seriously, that like, I, I don't think they would actually value or respect you. Yeah, true. You know, because mm. if people come to them for referrals, like, okay, how do you think of like, uh, I don't know, mm, that no. kind of thing happens. Yeah. But if it's someone that calls you legit and like, Nancy, I need you on this stuff, audition for this role, or they mm -hmm. feel like you can actually carry on everything, really, yeah. you kill it. You can always call your prize and get paid. I'm telling you, they'd be like, wow. He'd be like, man, that girl, mm -hmm. she's actually yeah. a piece of work, man. Like, you can actually like work with her. And especially, I feel like these days, there are more female filmmakers than there used to be. Yes. Yeah, like women who are doing stuff yes. somewhere in the industry. And I always say that where your talent takes you to, you actually last. You can, there's, there's always a growth process. And mm -hmm. when you finally get there, it's okay. longer for you rather mm -hmm. than wanting instant fame and no, instant no, money and no. instant recognition. It will take a mm -hmm. while. And if it's through your talent, it will last for a long time. Legit. And of course, people would know. But mm -hmm. please tell me, you've never been rocked by any of these, you know, experiences, no? No. You've never experienced none? No. Yeah? Okay, mm. great, great. Now tell me how easy or how hard is it for one to break into another world? Everything is not easy to break into. Right. Not even a woman. Mm. So you have to like work your way up <laughs> to make sure everything goes well. Now, my point is it takes Wait Every a minute, that just clicked. What? <laughs> I'm just saying. Wow. Listen, it's all a process, okay? Because you have to build it up. Mm. Okay, you have to have the inspiration. Okay. To want to, or, or passion to want to go into this. Know what you're going into. Okay. Understand it. All right. Now, motivate yourself. More like lubricating yourself. You know, to want to go into it. So like now, you actually, you know, you're already ready to okay. actually penetrate the industry. Are we just talking about a woman or in, oh, do you say the industry? Industry. Nice, I'm talking industry here. I don't know what I'm talking about, but industry. So when you now penetrate this industry, when you come in, come with something new, a different style, a different stroke towards the character. When you're carrying out this, this characterization, make sure you're actually serious about it, you're actually good at it, you actually you want it, like your life depends on it. Okay. Then you can now come for it. I mean, go for it, sorry. That's a very nice way to describe it. Thank you very much. Well, you asked. <laughs> Tell me, um, what should we expect from you as the year goes on? 
Well, um, so far, like I have projects coming out. Okay. You know, um, the biggest one so far, the World Hibiscus Hotel. Yeah. It's already is about to hit the cinemas on the 9th of February. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's going to be amazing, and I have like other movies like that coming out too. Mm -hmm. So it's all about um, chasing the dream. You know, doing it much bigger, working smarter, not piling a lot of uh, movies and just shoot, 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 you know, like I'm trying to be more selective now. Right. You know, because. I have a brand I'm trying to build, and it's it's now uh, about stories that actually make sense. Mm. You know, make more sense. I mean, I've been in movies that make sense, no doubt about that. You know, but now I'm trying to be more selective. Okay. About it, okay. and other things aside, entertainments like um, you know, I, I'm into security as well. You do what? I run I run a security company. Okay. Yeah, and also security. He security. Means, yeah, because no, people, you know, sorry. some of us don't come from the America. <coughs> security. No mix. <laughs> And so I'm trying to like, you know, so venture into like other stuff as well. So Okay, you know, okay great. It's yeah. amazing. We look forward to all of these amazing things. Mm -hmm. Hopefully someday a production company anywhere around the corner. Oh yeah, of course, like produce my own movie, yeah. Yeah, sure. That's, that's coming. Ah, colossal. You know, nice I can produce mine, I produce for people, so yeah. colossal. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Who's us? Oh Nancy Cine. Yay! <laughs> It's going to be my movie, no problem. I don't want to be in your movie. I said us, like people that are watching. Call us. Yeah, us is here. I don't want to be in your movie. Wants to be in your movie. Your movie. Uh, call okay, no movie. problem. I'll call us. Call us. Call us. Okay. Keep it. Oh, nice. Uh -uh. <laughs> Touch out. <laughs> blow you. <laughs> okay, no. Down, down. Well, thank you for sharing. All right, guys. Enjoy the video of the day. We will be right back. Excuse me, would you propose to your man in public? Why would I propose to my man in public? The man is supposed to do the proposing. Hey, 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 hey. It's one question they ask you. You have traveled to UK, have you? Have you now. Leave her, make a deal with her. <laughs> Will you propose to your man? Simple question. It's not duty of man. What's your duty? Before you would say, it's not duty of woman to wash, woman is not duty of woman to cook. What's your duty? What's your duty? Let's give it to that. Man was proposed. Why can't you do this thing? Sex door at school, country now. There's plenty of sex door all around. Just... Oh, we went to November. How about we do the overture? How <laughs> about the second hand? We come out. We come out. When you like a woman, we make a man. You pull out, discuss it. It's not even public. Whether public or private. As we hold in this now, the video just carry cola not to your house. Hey, I saw flower in your house, so I want to block flower. But you say, hey, you must post me public. You must do it. You must do it. Ah, ah, ah. Life is not hard like that, now. Nah. Right, but see, the way you are going, if you don't propose, says that we propose to your man on your behalf. Welcome back, guys. It is time for some games, but I hope you enjoyed the video of the day. If you're just joining us, you're watching Trending, brought to you by Airtel. I still have the amazing Kenneth Okoli on my hot seat, and we're about to play some games. The first one up is the Fast Fire question segment. What happens is that I get to ask him a couple questions under 60 seconds, and he answers like that. Are you ready? I don't know. You will try. Let us go. Let us go. Wow. Time starts an hour. Okay. What is the first thing you did this morning? Eat. Most cherished item? My wife. Oh. Who's your favorite Nigerian artist? Me. Artist, like somebody who sings. Oh. Still you? I take it as no. you. <laughs> what would you never do? It was good, actually. Okay. What would you never do? Kiss a man. Fame or fortune? Fortune. Favorite color? Blue. Your greatest achievement? Marriage. What impresses you? Money. Favorite movie? Okay, what impresses me? Success. You better say money. Money, the end. Favorite movie? <laughs> Favorite movie. Royal Happiness Hotel. What is your phobia? Snakes. Snakes. Thank you. You did well under 60 seconds. All right, let's talk about the next deal, which is the tribe. What happens is I get to ask you a couple questions under, you know. The tribe? Yeah, the tri under the tribe. All right. Yes. <laughs> Social media abbreviations. Oh, I know your type is cool. Oh, oh, nah. See, you are here. Your eyes is there. <laughs> I saw you do like this. I was trying to understand, like you said, tribe. You will not so guess it. Let's if see you see like spelling. peep from now to next year, okay. I will ask you the one that is not here. Okay? You are guaranteed to feel like four Chai. out of five. Are you, are you ready? One. Well, let's go. First one of LMAO. Laugh my ass off. That's the only one you get. All right, next one. PPC. PPC. P. 
Okay. Next one. A F A I K. What? A F A I. Kim. Kim. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, I don't know that. Do you want me to help you? A F. Uh, okay, I don't know. Do you want me to help you? Help me. What's this one? Say, tell me. Tell me, what's that? Help <laughs> it doesn't me. Help me. Help me. Say, oh Lord, I laugh. <laughs> I laugh in Spanish. That's not how it works, my brother. You see? <laughs> how it works is that you say, help me, please, Nancy, humbly. Your attitude is everything. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? All right. Do you want me to help you? Help me, please, Nancy. Okay? Attitude is everything. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Help me, please, Nancy. Good boy. Nancy. <laughs> okay, I'll just go. As far as I know. Stop. This, your neck is too long. Stay there. Stop coming long. here. I'm here. I'm here on my seat. You are doing like this. Where? How? Where? Like this. Like this? It means as far as I know. <laughs> as far as I know, that's what it means. Are you good? Oh, as far as I know. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand it now? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Next one is empty. Empty. Mm. Mike though. Hmm. Me too. No, 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 no. Ish. It's something mm. on Twitter. Mouth too. <laughs> I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on, on Twitter. Trust me. All right, let's copy. Do you want me to help you? Okay, please help me. Humbly. Who? Who are you asking to help you? There's so many people here. Nancy, please help me. Thank you very much. It means uh, modified tweet. Uh, modified tweet. Uh, uh, next one. That. Next one. L M K. Oh, it's easy. L M K. Yeah. Uh, like my. Like my. I don't know. Love my. Leave my. What's key? I don't know. You tell me what's key. No, if I can get the key, <laughs> I can get the rest. Okay, but tell me what key is so we get it together. Okay. Do you want a clue or do you want me to help you? Yeah, help me. A clue is. Uh, that's a clue. It's like. <laughs> laugh my. I'm not laughing. Okay. Have you seen me laugh before? My whole Leave. head opens. Leave I'm my... like. Like. Kenneth. Let me. Let me. Kiss. E. E. Oh. God forbid. Let me kill. No. Let me. Columbia. Wow. <laughs> of all the case that you know. <laughs> Let me kick. No. Let me. Let me. Leave me. No, you're already getting it. Let me is nice. Let me. It's like, mm, mm. Let me know. Hey, all my body had to work for this boy to get. Kai, I'm not giving you a clue again. Just help me. Hey, I don't. It means let me know. You're right. Would it? God, 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 God. It was correct. I will even give it to you. It's no, me I that got it. So it's I still help like you. <laughs> so that you could get it. You see, now that you got it, you see, you see, you see how Nigerians are. No, you see, I mean, you're, 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 are you mean, putting? Because you're making me feel bad already. Like, are you putting? You gave me a clue. You see, okay. yeah, like no this. problem. No, yeah, like this. And yeah, like next, this. Time, next, next time, give me a straightforward. Yeah, like this. When you're Give me a straightforward clue. When you're opening your uh, home. I thought you have done like this. Yeah, like this. They will have you. Don't help Nigerians. See, look at him. He's still looking for exposure. Last one. Last one. T T Y L. T T what? T T Y L. They don't want you and make you ask me for clue. Talk to you later. Get out of there, man. Ah, Kenneth, I'm proud of you. Hey, this of head you, you this head you have. Now you'll die with this. <laughs> you die with this. Brush your head. This head. Finally, there's something. Oh, I'm proud of you. Please, congratulations, my brother. Kenneth. Excuse me. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna go on the show break now. When we come back, you'll be reading some nasty comments. Are you ready for that? Mm. Oh, okay. Let's go. I like nasty comments. All righty. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with me.
All right, guys, welcome back. It is still trending, brought to you by Airtel. And now it's time for Kenneth to read some nasty comments. Are you ready for this? Okay. All righty. Please read each and respond to them the best way you can. Hmm. Nasty comments, okay. He is very notorious for cheating. I know he's just. Go, 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 go. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Feel it. He's engaged again, Ogao. Ogao. Have you been engaged before? Me? Yeah. Uh, from before you got married. Oh, so this is about me, huh? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, I have been, actually. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you yeah. go. So, um, but uh, things went bad because... Okay. Uh, wait, am I meant to be giving the... Yeah, like you can talk about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, we had genotype issues, so that was it. Oh, yeah, wow. So the risks involved and all that whole stuff and everything. So my advice is just like, you know. Let it go. Let it slide, yeah. I think this must have been when they posted you in Gage. That was probably when they got the comment mm, so, from I mean, a post. Yeah. Well, I mean, your father's. But anyway, it's fine. <gasps> so, what's the next one? That's it. Just those two. Yeah, the first one and the second one. Oh, he's very notorious for cheating. What? He's very notorious for cheating. I know he's just your father. <laughs> Wait, you read that but didn't see it. I didn't. I didn't. Yo, yo, you see, the funniest thing is that the name is even anonymous. Because that just that's them on Twitter, past Twitter fingers and everything. Yeah. They type, they type of the whole. I don't leave. I don't read comments. Yeah, exactly. You know, when it comes on blogs and everything, say for Kenneth the Coley, blah 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 blah, like KG, blah blah. Nazis now trending. I don't read it. You don't read it, but you just read one, yeah. Well, I mean, just he showed it to me, so yeah. I thought maybe it was like, you know, nice comments about somebody. About somebody, you didn't yeah. realize that. I didn't even realize it was me, so <laughs> you actually put me on the spot there. Okay, okay, but how do you feel about those? About what? The comments. The comments, oh, trust me, I'm not even bothered, because okay. like, it, 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 it happens. People say what whatever, they, they, what, want whatever they want to, or yeah, how right. they assume it. You yeah. understand? Yeah, it's right. more like hearing, like, maybe, okay, ah, Nancy broke up with. Right. And you say that someone, the next person that hears it, be like, Nancy, ah, that one. She okay. broke up with this guy. The guy was cheating. The guy was, ah, the. Exactly. You add the Omaga and everything. Yeah, true, but to you make know, it sound you know, nice. You understand, so. Well, thank you very much for sharing it. Thank you so much for coming on to show you were amazing. Thank you very much. I hope you had fun. Yeah, I did. I had fun. Yes, yeah, so I wish you the very best, especially with marriage and all of your endeavors. Yeah, thank you. Very everything, much. everything. Thank you. All righty, all right, guys, enjoy the top five. I will be right back. Check out our top five male actors on the 30. At number five is Robert Patterson, age 29. Robert was a part of a famous life imitating art relationship when he dated Twilight series co star Kristen Stewart. At number four is Zac Efron, age 28. Since his debut in High School Musical 2006, Zac has captured the hearts of millions of his female fans around the world. Sitting at number three is Colton Haynes, age 27. After moving to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career, Colton landed a role on supernatural drama Tin Wolf. This show was clearly the perfect fit for Colton. At number two is Nicholas Holt, age 27. Nicholas is absolutely striking with a 6'3 frame, piercing blue eyes and dark hair. He famously enjoyed a long relationship with one of our favorite actresses, Jennifer Lawrence. Finally, at the number one spot is Liam Hemsworth, age 26. Liam is a gorgeous Australian actor who first came to our attention when he starred alongside Miley Cyrus in the last song, 2010. All right, guys, it's a wrap. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you had fun. As you know, I had Kenneth Okoli on my heart because we had a lot to talk about. Uh, I hope I you were inspired. I hope you found it funny. I hope you got to laugh and I hope you're happy. He just, you know, said something from there that is a lie. So I'm sure everything he said is a lie. That is his business because me, I feel like it's true. As you know, you can join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at HipTV and on Instagram at official HipTV. You can also follow me on Instagram at Nancy Isime Official. As you know, I love you, but God loves you more. Goodbye. Thank you.